Been hit. Hmm. All right. Hello, everybody. It is Friday night, and we are here to play some Dungeon and Dragon. Not plural. Anyway, after Ooh. launching an assault on the secret forest installation known as Sturge Base, a halfling doctor, which you later learned goes by the name of Dr. Jaris Jarasco, unleashed his lab specimens upon you. Among them, a brain like aberration called an intellect devourer which consumed poor Aldark's brain and commandeered his body, turning him against you. After a short and brutal fight against both Aldark and another test subject being controlled by these intellect devourers, you subdued Aldark without killing him before finding another halfling doctor by the name of Amelia de Jurasco, who claimed she could help restore Aldark's brain. While this was happening, Ronan discovered his missing companion, Kashana, in one of the cells, sadly dead after being the subject of one of Dr. Jarrus's experiments. After some arguing and physical altercation between the party over what to do with Dr. Amelia, you allowed her to assist with restoring Aldark's brain, while Ronan wandered off to bury Shana in the forest. Following this, Aldark, now revived, executed the last of the prisoners in the base that you were unable to free, to spare them from certain death, either from starvation or the return of en enemy agents to the base. You then returned to Woodhelm, Hitched a ride downriver on a lumber barge, captained by a rather incompetent half-elf, and arrived at the port city of Gallaspire, just in time for the House Fialan hosted Festival of Colour. You then proceeded to spend the day engaging in the festivities. So where we last left off, uh, after inquiring with some Talenta Plains halflings about uh, acquiring a clawfoot raptor unsuccessfully, uh, Oldark and Ronan have returned to town, Aldark now in search of an elvish weapon. He's heard stories about the fabled double-ended shimitar wielded by the uh, elves of Valinor. You've been wandering around the blacksmith district of Galaspire trying to find one of these weapons and they've pointed you in the direction of speaking to some of the elves that are visiting town themselves to try and acquire said weapon. So fantastic. <clears throat> well, shall we head over to where they said that we should go? Or look. Oh no, I... Ronan. That's it's Ronan. Go get out of here, Rock. Ronan, <laughs> are we heading in that direction? Uh sure. I still need your assistance on making sure these blades are good. I don't have much experience, but we'll give it a go. I'll start heading in the direction that they pointed us towards, unless we're already there. Right, so you make your way over to uh, the quarter nearby the amphitheater where you uh, watched the circus performance earlier that day. You can see uh, uh, there seems to be an area where these uh, elves are gathered, uh, large concentrations of them outside of the, the local taverns and, sh and stores. Uh, what do you want to do? Hmm. I'm looking around. I'm trying to see if I can find any, like, weapon smithies. Weapon smiths ones, or ones that are putting out stools with weapons on for sale, or anything like that. Or even looking for someone carrying such a weapon. Um, you don't really see anything like that. Uh, most of them are visiting, so none of them are setting up stores. Uh, yeah, most of them are unarmed. Any of them look like the this that like the militaristic at all? No. <clears throat> Any guards or anything like that? 
No, not really. He's uh, performer types. Shady? Oh, what's the shadiest looking dude there? Shadiest looking guy there. Why are we after yeah. a shady guy? Because he's selling weapons at a festival. Okay. Uh, <laughs> most, sure. of them, most of them are brightly colored, dressed brightly colored, they're performers. Uh, they're, if you uh, can't find a shady guy, that's the new the, art. The close... <laughs> yep. The closest one, I would say, uh, ex excuse me, sir. Ex excuse me. Uh, uh, elf, elf, sir. And he, like, bows politely, not knowing how elves greet each other at all. Uh, he, he turns around. Uh, uh, a slim, colorfully dressed uh, elf. Short, dark hair. Uh, cleanly shaven. Uh, sort of a side part going on. Hello? Yes? How can I help you? I was, uh... Wondering if I could ask your assistance in acquiring a certain blade from your culture. I am, uh, I'm sorry, I, I do not follow. Uh, what do you mean? The double uh, scimitar that is very renowned through your culture. I'm wondering if there's somewhere that I'm able to get one, and if that's possible. That is the, the sacred weapon of our people. We do not yes, just exactly. sell them to anyone. It is not a, a trinket to be taken away. Well, how would one earn such a weapon? Well, I suppose you would have to uh, no, perform some great service for one of us. Uh, even then, if what? you are seen walking around with it, they will simply assume you have stolen it. Hmm. Okay, I might, uh... Hmm. Do you have any tasks that need doing? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm afraid not. I, uh, my only task at the moment is to get very, very drunk. Ah, I'm... T uh, I, I look at Ronan. D uh, uh, I, 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 I'm not sure if I can help you yet. Uh, but thank you for the, the knowledge, at least. Of course. Thank you. Sure, come see the I... circus tomorrow, yes? Oh, yes, no, I will. I am uh, I'm, I'm uh, excited to see. No, I, I will. He doesn't have to. I'll come. I'm interested in performing arts. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, okay, goodbye. I know just tell him away. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Roman, Ronan. Uh, we may have to... Well, we want, uh, he'll wait till he's out of earshot. He says, Do you reckon we could pay someone who's uh, not one of them elves to build one? Uh, perhaps, but didn't he say that he caught wearing it? Yes, but how many times do we see elves like that? Uh, but just cities, quite a lot, actually. Just, just imagine it's like your reap. It's like your your uh, sword, but. Two. Well, how about maybe perhaps uh, we can find them in Sharp? Find people more lax over there. Maybe stuck That's up. not a. Alright, well, we have to return to Sharp at once. We no, have no, to we, get... we, no, we have to go somewhere else. Alright, we'll, yeah. we'll go there, uh, get all the money, buy ourselves a raptor, then go to Sharp. No. We're gonna Thank go you. straight to the, the facility. Yes, no, we're <clears> going to go to the facility, of course. I would like to go and uh, check out the facility, but... Uh, but what was the rest of the... Do we know where the rest of the guys are? We kind of just left them behind. What did we say we were going to meet? I, we were gonna be I don't think we ever said we were going to meet up. I think we just yeah. left. I think we, we told Rook you to meet uh, the Golden Dragon yeah. Inn. Yeah, you did say to Rook to meet at the Golden Dragon Inn. Um, but also, meanwhile, Ciro yeah, is still just wandering around. <laughs> uh, Tripping balls? Yeah, he's drank some very, very potent, uh, possibly magical liquor. He's walking around seeing butterflies. Not too sure what his plan is. <laughs> I just go wherever the butterflies drag me. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just roll a little dice here for no reason. Yeah, no reason at all. <clears throat> Completely unrelated. Sarah has a terrible reaction and starts coming out in 
boils and pimples. Uh, he just, uh, he has a fairly, just a, just a really euphoric day. He just enjoys himself, wandering around. No one starts any trouble whatsoever. Here go. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. But, uh, where, where are we at? Yeah, this is the happiest I've felt in years. <laughs> <laughs> so it's around midday. Um, <clears throat> what do you guys want to do with the day? What is the plan? Um, well, all dark after finding out that the uh, sword is going to be, well, the, the uh, spear sword thing is going to be a, a no-go. He he, probably just going to wander back to where we're going to meet up. Um, Sounds right. <laughs> oh, God. Hiccups. Ryan has no interest in the fair or the festivities. Well, if the fair's on, like, I might go see the circus because they did suggest it. I wasn't, I thought we were still setting up for it. I wasn't sure if it was today or it was tomorrow. The festival's like a long new day thing. It's already on oh. the way. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It if is, there's uh, a circus on, all ducks go to the circus. Yeah, the festival is day one of three of the festival. Hmm. And, uh, well, the next acrobatics performance will be the next morning. There is a uh, fire twirling performance that evening. Ryan is going to look for Rook if all going to go see the, uh, the, the prissy show. I'd love to see the circus. Oh, Jesus, stop it, Adam. No, I'm gonna mute Adam until he's done eating, so we don't have to hear the wrap up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so Ronan's gonna look, go look for Rook. Um, how long does Zero's acid trip last for? Uh, <laughs> the rest of the day. Uh, it's, it probably wears <laughs> off. Uh, what time did it start? Roughly, I think it was about 9.30, I believe. It's about 3 p.m. It starts to wear off. You What's the come down see, like? You start to see less and less butterflies over the next hour. No, it's fine. Um, you you it, it, all? it does uh, result in a hangover, though. Is it one of those, uh, like, uh, well, yeah, you, yeah, yeah we, know, we all know. You all convened in from various directions, whatever you were up to, uh, around 6 p.m. at the Golden Dragon Inn. As you guys organized earlier that day, somehow Zero just turns up. He just euphorically <laughs> blunders his way in. Just assuming, you know, he was just looking for a tavern. He, he, you guys just happened to be there. He, exactly. He recognizes the symbol and knows it's a place to find us. It just clicks in his brain, the logo. They have very good branding. Well, I guess we should sit down and get a get a table, maybe. No, okay, I'm going to take this table here. Uh, but it's only got three seats. I, I really don't think Sura's going to be standing up too long. Uh, that's why we need four seats then. Oh, good point. Uh, it, 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 excuse me, are you using that seat there? There is a uh, <laughs> as. A stout uh, halfling woman walking around serving drinks and food. Yeah. Evening, governors. Welcome to the Golden Dragon. Take a seat wherever you like. Okay. Well, there's. Oh, all right. I said Sorry. just, we, just we ignore the map for now. Like your, your tokens are just. <laughs> you can just. It's okay. I wonder if they've got any, uh, they probably have some food for the festival that's specific for the festival, I presume. Um, Zero, like, sits down at the table and then he's, like, looking around and kind of realises where he is. <laughs> and he starts, starts getting, like, real nervous. Uh, the, These, um... the same... These people have the things in the, in the water! The uh, waitress what comes over to, to, to your table. She's like, All right, then, uh, my lords. Tonight we our uh, special is uh, steamed shrimp and curd cheese, uh, served with a glass of wine. Or uh, if you're not here, uh, so inclined to the seafood. We've also got uh, roasted lamb uh, with nutmeg and millet bread, or uh, a bit of uh, barbecue pheasant with poached eggs. 
I'll have the third option if that's okay. Problem? Anybody else? I'll, I'll have the lamb, please. Right. And uh, drinks? Uh, let's go three of your, three of your most medium ales. Most right. medium. Alright, <laughs> not a problem. I don't want to pay for the good stuff. That's fair. It's like upper middle section, I guess. She uh, disappears off to the, uh, the kitchen to fetch your food and drink. You take in your surroundings. Uh, it looks like it's uh, it's wi it's around 6 p.m. at the moment. Uh, it looks like it's winding up to be a, a fairly busy evening. Uh, you see, there are people of all uh, sort of uh, all four corners of Corvera. Would seem uh, you see uh, several of the, the color colorfully uh, dressed elves of House Fialin. Uh, in a corner, engaging in uh, some very loud uh, festivities of drinking and chanting. Uh, you see a, uh, a group of maraud hold businessmen, dwarves, sharply dressed uh, in some very nice uh, suit-like outfits. You could swear as you, you eyeball them, you even see like a hint of a small tentacle sort of emerge from one of their sleeves for a second. and. Withdraw straight back up the sleeve as though it detects your sight. You see uh, a group of druids sitting in the corner, engaged in quiet discussion. There's musicians uh, playing music over in the corner, there's washing around the room. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a very festivous atmosphere. The waitress returns uh, with your drinks. Alright, will you be Thank paying you for that now, much. or should we start a tab? Uh, how much would that cost? Uh, that will be... Uh, five silver pieces each at the moment. Okay, he pulls out his wallet and... Just, uh, uh, Rook, uh, which, which one is it to stop, start a tab? Uh, the... the <sighs> they're the triangle ones, mate. Oh, okay. And I, five, I, okay. five of them. Picks out five of the triangle ones. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And puts it in her hand. I'll also pay. Alright. Uh, obviously, except for Ronan. Yeah. Alright, the, yeah, the food and drinks are bought out. Alright, how heavily are we planning on drinking? A little more than usual, but not too much. I have a circus to go to. Yeah, actually, I've got a, uh, I've got someone I need to see tomorrow morning, so got to be in tip top. Ciro's just staring at like the back of his hand for like an <laughs> hour. And occasionally, Uldark will look over and. Stare at it as well, just to see what's going on. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What's, what's, what's on his? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you when you're a bit older, mate. Okay. Just, uh, just to enjoy your pheasant. I will. I mean, I already have. Have you finished, Jules? Not quite, but if, okay. if I don't get done, you can have the rest, all right? Uh, I'm not being pushy. No, 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 you're all right. Just in case. It was really nice. Yeah. It's good. I'll get. Zero. Right. How was how was your meal? What? Have you? How was your meal? I see you haven't really touched it. Oh, um, uh, Zero like picks up cutlery and just like is immediately entranced by like the pork that he's picked up. Bulldog will just kind of walk his fingers over to the plate and slowly pull it towards him to see if Ciro notices. Uh, he doesn't. Okay. And he'll just slowly start eating it. Yes, it tastes very good. I'm going to slow him, but he will slow slide his empty plate in front of Ciro. <laughs> and be like, yeah, it must have been good. It zero. looks good. I, I I had to go to the bathroom, so I did not know. You you yeah. finished it so quickly. Well done. 
Uh, you're midway through your, your second round of drinks. Uh, and uh, the door opens, Rook, with your uh, back to the stairs facing the door. You see the elfish girl that you had bumped into in the marketplace earlier that evening walk in. Immediately uh, slick my hair. <laughs> she walks past uh, and without noticing you and walks up to the, uh, the bar and sits down and orders a drink. Uh, well, I was going to have a nice quiet drink with you fellas, but uh, I've got, got some place I've got to be. Oh, where are you going? Uh, I'll tell you later. Can I come? <laughs> please, please don't. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I'm going to get up and walk to the bar. And I'll sit down next to her. She uh, sort so of she turns and glances at you for a second and does a double take. Oh, it's you. Yeah, uh, uh, Rook, by the way. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, hi. Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I'm Adora. Adora de Fialen. Yes, you are. I uh, am Adora... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> bad, bad puns running my family, you see. Uh... The Kenneth family, that is. I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> roll a, roll a uh, persuasion check. Oh. <laughs> uh, persuasion. Ooh, 17. She just uh, giggles sort of uncontrollably. For some reason, your, your pun was... Uh, bad puns were very funny to her. But you see a guy sort of sitting on the other side of her, just like scrunch his face up and just shake his head and turn around and walk away from the bar. <laughs> Good. Um, so you're, you're performing tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, the circus in the morning. I'll, uh, I'll be juggling blades. Flaming blades. Blades. What what kind of blades? I got a mate who's been looking for an elvish blade. Uh oh, just falchions. Oh, well, that's not okay. Not as elvish as I was hoping, but. Oh, uh, advantage is being given on the next skill roll thanks to Kenchi Dark. Is she is she a Valinor elf like the ones that I was trying to talk to? She's brightly coloredly dressed, or is she? Uh, she is. Yeah, well, she's obviously dressed like a performer, so she'd be. You could assume she is with Asfialen. Hmm. What would Aldark do? I think he's in the. Oh, too buried in his meal at the moment. Give me, give me a sec. Alright. Um, she, the bartender uh, walks over and is like, all right, can I get you two a drink? Uh, you got a drink that we can share? <laughs> He's like, well, uh, well, you could share most of them, I guess. I mean, it's well, uh, 100% up to you. I mean, I mean like, okay, yeah, just get us two ales then, thanks. Yeah, coming right up. He turns around, he turns around, pours to uh, refreshingly cold and tall ales, and turns around and puts them on the bench. Um, I think I'll down mine in one go for a bit of liquid courage. <laughs> Roll a constitution check. Fourteen. Yep, you may should do it without embarrassing yourself. Uh, I'm gonna grab the one that was put in front of her and say, Oh, did you want a drink as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, she, uh, she, just, she just sort of giggles again. She's like, <laughs> oh. She seems I'll, I'll, uh, I'll extremely understand. awkward. Oh, I got advantage on that one. Uh, that wasn't a, that wasn't a, uh, oh, that's a, it wasn't yeah. a skill check.
Josh, look. I'm gonna be real. I don't know how to talk to girls in real life, so this is kind of a struggle. Well, it's fine. She's not You're making doing it easy. Fine. Like, she, she's not making it easy. She's being very quiet. Yeah, she is. And just kind of like uh, sitting there, minding her own business. Meanwhile, at the table. She. Oh uh, yeah. What, what's going on at the table? Um, Zero like get picks up his fork and like flicks the tines of it, so like makes that high pitched like whiny noise. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Ronan, does this sound like music to you? And he like does it again. And like holds it next to where he assumes Ronan's ears would be. You're muted, Josh. You're muted. He's gonna grab the fork by the end of it and just like drag it back and put it down on the ground. No. Oh. No, there's, uh, there's music playing, but it's played by the uh, band up there. Ah, oh, who's who's uh, Rook talking to? Is that that looks like it's that's one of the Valen elves that uh, you were Valena elves that we were talking to before, wasn't it, Ronan? Yeah, you should go ask her about the sword. No, it's not a bad idea. And all dark was down up and start heading towards the two. Right. Daggers will be shot. <laughs> but meanwhile, oh back, back at the bar, she turns to you. She's like, uh, "Are you are you staying here at the inn tonight?" I think so. We have. I, I don't. Have we sorted out accommodation out of character? You haven't. No. Mm, no. no. Probably I would be staying here. I assumed that we would stay here, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, we're we're kind of like we're we're, we're badasses. We just like go where the wind takes us. So <laughs> <laughs> we can be here tonight, uh, or anywhere oh. really. Oh, good. Well, yes. Well, I'm staying here tonight too. Uh, Oh, yeah, well, so are we. Yeah, 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 so are we. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, dance. Do you dance? I also dance. Uh, Would you like uh, to do yeah, it at the I... same time? Uh, like, together? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Alright, you have to show me the steps. She grabs you by the hand and leads you uh, over to in front of the stage, but, uh, uh, in front of the uh, musicians, but Old Ark is crossing the room at the same time and sort of, like, intercepts the both of you. Uh, hello, uh, I, I, I am one of Rook's friends. My name is uh, Old Dark Lorkwill. Hello. Sorry, what? Did, what? Did I, I think I scared it off, Rook. I think I scared it off. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hello, pleased to meet you. Uh, oh, my. A, I, a I try and give the same bow as I did to the other elves before. Very clumsily. Do you still like stand back? She's like, oh, uh, yes, she gives like an awkward like head nod to you too. She's like, uh, um, very good. Uh, <clears throat> is this your, your, your friend, Rook? Um, yes, I am. I am. And so are those two over there. And he'll point out the other two. We are. He's making sure I've got the fork again. He's like, <laughs> We are. We are a party of uh, uh, adventurers, if you could say, traveling the lands looking for things. Oh, that's, yes. that's very nice. Yes, Rook said you, you're uh, badasses. Yeah, Ildark will immediately gonna... turn to look at Rook and go, I don't know what that word means. Uh, I'm going to step, like, so I'm just out of uh, Adora's <laughs> line of sight and they're just vigorously shake. yes, so yes, we are. Oh, yes. Yes, uh, we are we are bad asses. Yes, <laughs> nothing like horses. Uh, yeah, we we kind of we all do all kind of work. Yes, in, in fact, sorry, I must I must ask. You're a Valena elf, right? I, I am. I'm from Valena. Do you know if you're traveling with any bladesmiths? Uh. Don't believe so. Okay. Why do you ask? I'm just after. I'm just after speaking to an elf who maybe knows the craft of the uh, Valinor way. If you if you catch my drift. I'd like I'd like I'd like a Valinor blade. <laughs> if if it's possible, it's, uh, like, not not one of your scimitars, but uh, two. Connected by a, a very well carved piece of wood, or or a broomstick. I I, I don't mind. She uh, just sort of like looks at the feet for a second. She's like, oh, I'm I'm sorry. I don't I don't know anything about that. That's fine. I just thought I'd ask. It, it's okay. Um, I want 
disturb you guys any longer. I was getting drinks from the bar anyway, and I just bumped into you. Um, you you have a good evening. Um, he'll give Rook a thumbs up. It was lovely to meet you. Um, uh, yes. Realizes the awkwardness in the air <laughs> as these two guys like looking at their feet. Uh, shall, shall we dance then? I'd sure. love to, but I've got to get the drinks <laughs> first. Oh no! I'll be back. I'll be back, and he'll wander off to the bar. <laughs> um, How many channel points do I have to spend for one of Rook's arms to fall off during his dance? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking uh, of which, Josh. Yes, yes. Gus. Uh, I was just gonna say, uh, does she look like she's being shy? Like she's shy because she looks like a naturally shy person, or does she look like she's being cagey? Right. That's an insight uh, check, friend. Yeah, make an insight check for me, please. Okay. 12. It's 12. Alright. You do, as your, uh, roll performance check for me too, please. <laughs> Oh, oh dreaded GM, what's up, my friend? All right, so uh, you don't do too bad of a job of dancing. Um, you know, it's it's not your first uh, rodeo on the dance floor. You've you've hung out at some bars in in your recent sort of six months of freedom from uh, the clutches of uh, Rollo De Yep. You, so you know a couple moves. As she surprises you, she blows you out of the water uh, with her ability to uh, dance uh, on, and just absolutely cut a rug uh, seductively and uh, just it, it's it's just completely out of left field. So out of left field that it's, it seems a little odd. Right. And like, you can't help but feel that something is off about her, but you don't know what. So, like, even though I know that she's a performer, like a juggler, this seems like she's... It's just all of a good. sudden a complete flip of personality. Hmm, okay. Interesting. All Dark, after dropping off the drinks, would like to give a cut to the rug. <laughs> uh, seeing her <laughs> valiant display, seeing Rook doing the whipper snipper, and the, uh, probably a bit of grease lightning, All Dark would like to give it a go. So he... Shimmies himself down and gives it a gives it a good go. If I ever see Oldark coming near me on the dance floor, I will lead Adora away. It's mainly made up of dad dancing. Well, just that thing. Oldark does dances pretty well. He uh, he's got a little knowledge of you know the courtly moves. He he grew up in nobility. He uh, he knows uh, you know the the barn dance and all those all, you know the nut bush. The, yeah, the nut bush. He does a good job. Do we, do we, do me and the elf do like some synchronized dancing at some point? It doesn't. You it. Oh. You notice Rook that she seems to go out of her way to sort of move away from Old Dark. I'll I'll grab a random. I'll grab the the half elf the halfling uh, bartender. She's not carrying any drinks, and I'll try and grab her into the dance. <laughs> um. Come on, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Don't, don't worry about the drinks. Don't, don't worry, I'll come, come, come. Roll, roll me a uh, roll me a, persu a persuasion check. Yeah, we're cutting her up. We're doing it. Yeah, it, yeah, it turns into a Saturday <laughs> night fever scene of uh, Old Ark uh, dancing with this halfling bartender. There's a lot of spinning, a lot of a lot of uh, a jiving. Old Ark's lifting her up off her feet, like uh, here and there. Uh, in the, it, it sort of it draws a lot of attention from the crowd in the bar. So some of the the house fial and elves begin ch like stomping their feet and clapping uh, in time with the music and sort of cheering Old Ark on. In the midst of all this, Rook, uh, Adora grabs you uh, and a, and uh, attempts to plant a kiss on you. <gasps> I'll let it happen. Do it, big boy. All right, all right she, so, yeah, she kisses you. Cost you some saving uh, a kiss like turns into yeah a sort of a passionate embrace. She 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 uh, whispers in your ear, "Come to the room with me." <gasps> All right, not a man to say no. 
<laughs> she, uh... Roll uh, a wisdom saving throw for me, just... Uh, uh sure. Funsies. Oh, that's sitting in between a 5 and a 17 for me. All right. She uh, leads you uh, up uh, around the corner, away from the bar area, into the rooms. Uh, you, it opens up into uh, a large dormitory room. Uh, no one in the first one, but you see a, a door connecting to a second dormitory room on the other side, and you can hear some loud snoring coming from the next room. Um, she uh, grabs you, throws you down on the bed, and then she uh, sort of uh, looks, you, looks at you and goes, close your eyes. Yeah, right. I'll close my eyes. It's gonna happen. I will say you still have this feeling that something is uh, like a little bit wrong at the moment. But you... Yeah, I, I, I understand that. But I hope you're prepared to pay all this child support, Rook. Uh, Rook. So, uh, while your eyes are closed, you hear. Uh, you feel like a, a sort of warmth uh, of air uh. sort of wash over you. Uh, like a, a, a slight gust of warm air. All of a sudden, you hear the door open. Uh, and uh, you hear the voice of uh, some bar bar goer that has just walked in. He's like, "What the crikey hell is this?" You open your eyes. It is standing in front of you, no longer the elf woman that had stood there a second ago. Come on. Instead, a, a pink-skinned, winged humanoid creature standing in front of you. Oh, it's a sucker bus. Like, She turns uh, and points a finger at the man that has just walked into the room. Speaks one word. Leave! He rolls a uh, wisdom saving throw. <laughs> My commoner. <laughs> he, uh, all of a sudden, he's... Eyesight just goes like staring through her. His body just, his arms just sort of go limp and hang by his side. He turns around, shuts the door behind him, and walks out. Command too good. What do you do, Rook? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist my bot onto protection mode, then drop it as stealthily as I can. Like trying to do it without oh. her. She's gonna <laughs> like you're doing it in front of her. She's gonna see you do it. Like, yeah, you know, she's slide a hand see check it. to try and deploy it. Here you go. <laughs> she don't want no protection. All right. Uh, yeah, she sees you like fiddling with uh, the inner mechanics of your arms. She screams no and lunges at you. Uh, let me just set this up. I knew it was too good to be true. I like how Rook always gets himself into situations where he's by himself. Oh, well, last time it was me and you in the bath. Well, separate baths, but it was us in the bath. Yeah, but we were still together though. Yeah. This poison she wasn't seducted by the beautiful ways of a dragonborn. I'm gonna be careful with this halfling woman now that we're dancing. Hi, <clears throat> Rook. Roll for initiative. Oh, boy. Alright. Please be high. Okay, that's okay. Alright. You have the initiative. Uh... Is this, uh... Is my bot out at this point, or will this just be my first turn? It will be, or you, if you want to do it, it's your first action, yeah, to deploy it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll drop the bot, deploy it, bang, cast protector myself, and then, uh, what do I want to say? I don't know. I think, I think Rook is still in shock. What? What? What are you? You're not an L. What? Um, and just a quick question. Yeah. This for immersion. No, 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 this is Kyle. Um, is this all happening while you still have an erection? Oh my god, yes. Josh. <laughs> I'm gonna scramble back towards the, the head of the bed. Uh, and I need to drop my blood into the scene. One second. 
Uh, choo -choo. Yeah. We uh, we also left. We also rook leave, right? You did, yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to be very distracted, and I'm not going to disturb him. Uh, rook, she just lunges at you, and uh, just attempts to maul with these uh, wicked talons she is now sporting. That's just my protection. Uh, a miss. Uh, yeah, just you just fend nice. it off uh, with the the metal plating of your arms. And uh, she has the initiative on the next turn. She comes in for another swipe. It hits this time. You take five slashing damage. Yep. There's all the temp gone. It's uh yeah deflected off by the uh, the shield that your uh, eldritch cannon is deploying. Uh, it is then your turn. Uh, what what you do? Is this some kind of like, sexy roleplay or something? I, I don't <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Um, I'll bonus action to activate the bot again and protect. Ah, oh, right. Okay, still six. Um. Whoa. I don't know what to cast. I don't know. I still don't know if she's trying to. I mean, I know she's trying to kill me, but I'm hoping she's not trying to kill me. Do a big murder. <laughs> do, do a big uh, murder. I'm gonna cast. <laughs> I'm gonna cast grease. And make cool. it all slippery up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing! Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess just right, right there, so that it hits everyone. Okay. Well, including <laughs> yourself. I guess I'm too panicked to not hit myself with it, so. It's on a point, so you can put it like just behind her, and it won't get you. I mean, I'm already prone on the bed, Josh. Like, <laughs> I assumed you sat up. It's <laughs> <laughs> lying flat. Uh, she makes a dexterity saving throw. Uh, she has passed. The feet sort of like fumble <clears throat> for a second, trying to find purchase on the bed frame as she manages to stay upright. Alright, I'll almost also make deck saving throw. I made it, yay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't um, slip over on your roll, roll, it out, save, roll a saving throw for your bot. Uh, yes. It's just, I just have to type it out. Not 1d30. The bot oh, yeah. slips Your bot over. slips over. Yeah, you know, like the droid decar when it gets, uh, it's, it like topples over when Jar Jar hits it from behind and it's like pushing itself with its little legs. It's like that. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> next round she has initiative again. She makes another Talon attack at you, uh, hitting for six damage. That just absorbed by 10 HP again? Yep. Alright. Right. Uh, your turn then. Um. Alright, I want to try and grapple. Is she, like, basically on top of me at this point? No. I mean, I assumed, like, you're sitting up in the bed. She's, like, standing over you, yeah. like, lashing out with the talons. You can't reach and now grapple. I don't think you understand what's going on here, Kyle. Um. Yeah, I want to try and grapple her onto the okay. bed. Okay, roll an athletics check. Fourteen. Nah, she uh, yeah, just easily slips under your arms. All right, I'll bonus to activate the cannon again and get it to stand up and move the five foot that way. All right. Uh, she has initiative again. She just said she sort of looked like looks down at the talons and then like scowls at you after seeing like the her blows just getting dashed off uh, your metal plating and your, the shield being projected by your cannon. 
You see, it's just, she just get, like this look of utter frustration. She's just like, oh! She uh, disengages, turns around, uh, kicks the door open over here, storms into the next room. Everyone uh, in the next room just sort of gets woken up by the, the door being kicked uh, off its hinges. They just, what, what, what are you talking about here? What, 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 uh, your turn. I'm gonna chase after her. Alright. Uh, I guess I can only move 15 feet, right? Uh, and I wanna shout, everyone get up! She's, she's trying to kill us all! And I will. Oh, I still have. Oh, I still don't have uh, vision on the bot, Josh. Yeah, I'm not able to do anything about it. It's either like you have complete vision from it or. Or the way it is, so. Yeah, okay, that's right. I'll, um. Yeah, I'll just move it to there and activate it to try and get some extra health. No, same. Alright. Alright. Uh, she uh, just sort of. Holds her wings up, dives through the, the glass window in front of her. Uh, and then you see outside the wings spread, and then uh, just by the, the light of a, a nearby lantern, you see a, a flapping of leathery wings as she takes off into the nearby streets. Hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll let her go. I want to wait about 30 seconds. And then race downstairs. Right. You uh, burst out the door. The, the three people that were uh, uh, sleeping in the other room are sort of all out of bed, and looking out the like the shattered window, like looking at you, just in just you know, gobsmacked, half tired, wondering what just happened. You turn around and, and walk back out of the room. Um, I'll race down to uh, Ronan and Ciro, who I'm assuming is still a bit out of it. Um, Ronan, Ronan, that girl. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. She was uh, just some kind of uh, winged creature. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, where'd she go? She flew out the, the window. She was leading me upstairs. Uh, I thought we were about to get her on or, or whatever, but then she tried to attack me. And, and she then, left the building. Yeah, she smashed out a window and left. Well, there's probably not much, much catching it now. Um, is anyone else hurt? Were you hurt? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I, I think she's like a shapeshifter or something because she... Well, uh, definitely didn't I mean, look like... Did she just fly? I don't, I don't oh, know. Not, not, not important. Um, uh, uh, let's see if we can see it from outside. Alright, let's go. Um, is Aldark in line of sight of us? Still dancing at the moment? Oh, sure, uh, he's still dancing, by the way. Oh, yeah, I'm still, still dancing. dancing. That is the question. Yep, 100%. Do you want me to roll another check? See no, how tired I'm getting? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, I will Aldark cast He's still over on the dance floor. Yeah, I'll, I'll cast a message, send my little mechanical bird out um, to cheapen his ear. Aldark, something's going down. Come meet us outside. I am enjoying dancing, but if we have to go, okay. And he'll just like stop dancing, go get a towel, pick up a towel that someone's offered him, pats his sweat off, hands it back, takes the glass of water, waves off to all of his new friends and follows his friends out. Uh, it was quite the festival in there. Uh, how did you uh, fare with the elf lady? She wasn't an elf, mate. She's some kind of shapeshifter or someone who can change forms. She attacked me. You, you tapped what? She attacked me. Oh, attacked, sorry. I heard you. I t tapped. Um, she tried to and then attacked me instead and I was... Are you sure it's not part of her culture to do that sort of thing when certain... I mean, I don't know. She's she, a, she was an assassin, Elder. Completely changed An form. assassin? She Most didn't. Likely. She didn't hurt me at all or anything, but I mean, anyway, I think that's right. Let's go. Okay, so, yes, yeah, sorry. And it, I thought I was chasing you. <laughs> yep, I follow you guys. We yeah, see, we see outside. Lead them to where, wherever the window was. 
Are you with yeah, the there girls, is a uh, outside. There's a you go to the the shattered glass, uh, sort of scattered on the ground, and a, a night watchman outside holding a lantern, sort of scratching his head, looking over it, like looking around for someone that just jumped out of a window, but not seeing anything. Siro sees like the the light from the lantern playing off all the shattered glass. He's like, "Whoa, look at it!" <laughs> Night, the night watchman turns around to uh, you four as you as he hears your footsteps. He's like, hey, was this you? It was uh, one of the the people who had a room here. She jumped out the glass window and it flew away. <laughs> roll, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> flew away, did she? Jumped out the window, did she? All right, piss off, old mate. Look, just all I want to say is, how could it be us? We're obviously not made of glass. We also didn't jump out of the window. Always well, returned uh, to the I'm scene gonna, of the crime. I'm just gonna ignore him, Josh, and then keep running. All right, you run out into the streets. Uh, fairly crowded. A lot of people still around. Uh, by the sounds of loud cheering in the distance. Guessing the uh, the fire dwelling and fire breathing is just wrapped up at the amphitheater. Sort of a large crowd of people sort of pushes up the street towards you, people dispersing, going to different taverns. Um Yeah, if I round the corner and she's out of sight then I I'll kinda of give up. Yeah, I mean the last time you saw her she was flying like, you know, sixty feet yeah. in the air going over the rooftops. Yeah. Let's go to magic carpet. Here we go. I will cast Tensor's Floating Disc. No. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we find a different... Uh, uh, let's find a different place to rest, shall we? Yeah, I think probably going back to there uh, is not a good idea. Yeah, let's find some... Guys, I just told you, the Golden Dragon Inn is always infested. You know, I have to agree with Zero on this one. If you've not had the best of luck in the in that level in the burn book. Anyway, let's continue find something. Right, you you instead yeah, spend the night at that. You find another tavern just up the road that looks decent called the Half Full Flask. As uh, uh, a I large will timber ask and brick optimistic. building. I'll ask for a full mug of ale. Oh, oh, I would like to buy um, Emily some food because I don't think she got any last time. Oh yeah, I forgot that we were pulling her around. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ate two plates in front of her. Bartender sort of like looks at Rook as he's pouring your eyes. Like, you're alright, mate. You look like you just see the ghost. You're all pale. Very nearly, I think. Saying something uh, that was. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just say night didn't go as I was expecting it to. Alright, so guys, what is the plan? Were you waiting for your wagon to arrive before heading out for the... No, nah, we were just going to head out straight away, right? Yeah. Well, I yeah. think we'll... Yeah, yeah, we're just going to leave straight away. Okay. We're gonna um, get a bunch of supplies because we were running out, and then yeah, keep going. Right. Are you going on foot? No. Uh, no, we want to try and find a. I want you to try and rent some horses. It's pretty pretty far on foot. Yeah, we all are pitching in and buying a, a raptor. No. Oh. Um. Actually, Josh, how long would it take by foot to get from Galisphere to the? All right, so uh, okay. I crunched the numbers today. Oh, we were good. So on foot. You're looking at eight yep. days at normal pace. Oh, nope. May, maybe reduce it to seven, moving at a fast pace. Uh, whereas if you are mounted, it will take five days or four if you push it. Now, is mounted all of us in a cart or all of us with a horse? Like Either or. Mount? Either or. What is the cheaper option? Uh, well, probably high-end horses. Hiring horses rather than... Hiring a cart? Hiring a cart, yeah. 
Yep, cool. Alright, I will let's go to the horse, horse merchants. Alright, so you're able to hire horses from the local House Vidalis Enclave. Um, is this the following morning or the same night still, Josh? Nah, the following morning. Uh, I would like to go to the juggling act. The next morning? The following morning, yeah, just to see if okay. uh, that elf girl is there. So, as, uh, so you split off from the other three as they head off to organize uh, mounts for the trip. You head down to the amphitheater to catch the House Fial and acrobatics show in the morning. Uh, it does have jugglers uh, amongst the troop, uh, but you do not spot anyone that looks like the uh, elf woman that accosted you last night. Okay. Disappointed, I will return to my friends. How bad is Zero's hangover? Uh, you tell me. Eh, it's fine. He didn't have anything else to drink, so... It's just his usual mopey self. Alright, so the local house Vidalis Enclave will fire out horses to you for uh, what are we looking at? Three gold pieces a day. Mm -hmm. And these are house Vidalis trained mounts, so if you attempt to leave them or uh, keep them longer than you have paid for, they will just abandon you and run back. Yeah, sweet. So, um... Do we pay now, or do we pay when we get back? Yeah, you pay now. Pay up front. Shit, how many days is it? How many it's days did we work out? It's, gonna, it's gonna, gonna be ten. It's gonna be ten days. Five there, five back. Fuck, so that's 30 gold pieces. Guys, what if we, like, just pay for six days, and then just hold onto the horses while they pull themselves back? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Is that a trick that you learned in the underbellies of the... What's champ? Got to save money somehow, right? Hmm. If you guys want to do that, sure. <clears throat> are we are we discussing this over like breakfast or something, or are we I literally stand so. in front of them? Okay. Um. Well, while this is going on, uh, all dark is going to be using his building blocks to build another structure. Also, it'll be uh, five silver pieces a night each for the uh, in stay. Yeah. Ah. Well, I'll get rid of that now. I'll pay for Amelia. Amelia. Fuck. Oh, also, I, uh, I uh, did make a, a picture of Amelia. <laughs> ah. Does she look nice? She looks like a traitor. Oh, yeah, she does. I, okay. <clears throat> I, I kind of feel sorry for her after seeing that picture. <laughs> <laughs> And also, uh, Ronan, as you're, you're walking past the local newspaper peddler, if you have a silver piece, you can pick up the latest issue of the Korenberg Chronicle. You know I do. <laughs> the Korenberg Chronicle. All right, remove one silver piece. Lay it on me. So, also that the uh, the second article in that is a teaser for the next campaign. Ah. Sick. Um. Okay. Um. So she's obviously small enough just to ride with me. Uh. Are you guys gonna get the full full ten days? This is provided that. It takes us five days to get there. We deal with the thing in one day, and then it takes five days for us to get back as well. Well, I feel like if we pay for ten days, and we use up an extra day, we'll still only be like a day from the city. Mm. Yeah, but don't but get leave. Oh, oh yeah, I get you. So they'll just like fuck us off and then carry on yeah. the way home. Yeah, uh, I mean, I yeah, feel like that would be fine. 
Yeah, I get you. I feel you. I'm down. Alright, so 30 gold pieces. Yeah, does anyone want to spot all dark? Nope. Alright, well then all dark can't oh, go. Okay. How, much dark. Have, how do you not have any money? What do you mean? I don't have 30 gold pieces. Really? I have 20. I have. No, oh, I might have enough don't actually. Don't you have platinum? Yeah, but I forgot. I forgot platinum was. That's ten. So this is your own fault for buying yeah, shit. No, that's right. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. Thirty. That's right. Sorry, I shouldn't use platinum. Platinum just confuses me. All right, so we're paying for thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Right. Thirty got gold pieces for a horse. Bam. Man, that is expensive. How much is buying a horse, Josh? Fifty. Why don't we just spend the extra and buy? And then we just sell the cart when it comes. I think no, a, a, I cart, like a cart, cart though. Yeah, cart's 175. These are house for Dallas mounts too, so they uh, they automatically by default move at the fast speed. Oh really? Okay, yeah. cool. But I'm assuming if we were to buy a horse for 50 gold pieces, they'd be like the the lame one at the back, the bunk leg, <laughs> <laughs> the slow rhino from Jumanji. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you get it. All right, I've already paid for it. Yeah, I've done. I've already done thirty. So thirty. Yeah. Damn it. I, I like. I like the idea of like the Ferrari horse. Anyway. Ferrari. Guy Ferrari. <laughs> uh, sweet. So you guys are set up with uh, your, I assume four horses, and uh, Amelia will ride on the back of yours, Ronan. That's correct. Yep. And uh, you set out. Uh, do you want to set out that same morning? Right up. Yeah. Might as well. Go oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need, we, need, we, need, we, need, we need supplies. You guys oh, need yes, food. Yes, right. Uh, rations. Now, because she's a small one, does she use half the rations? No, she does not use half the rations. No, it, it, yeah, like she's a, a halfling. Yeah, surely. She's she's, she's tiny. She, she, she know how much the rations. If anything, half Have you watched The Lord of the people? Rings? Yeah. Hey, that's, that's <clears> Tolkien's <throat> halflings. Thank you very much. This is Eberron. We do things different. Tolkien owns all halflings. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, thank you for the four months. Small girl is small. Thank you so uh, much. Okay. Well, I'll buy her rations then. How much are rations? Gosh, Two rations for this bait. Five silver each. We could have we could have done a big murder, but we decided not to. This is the oh, there's gonna be bear. a big murder. Don't you worry. That's a coming. Yeah, a, a okay. gold gets two. Uh, a gold gets two rations. So. Yeah, I'll buy so five. ten rations. Five gold. So, five gold for ten <coughs> If only we had a ranger, then we wouldn't have to pay for it. Yeah, true. If anyone's oh, thinking well. of dying, there's a good... Okay. Does it, if anyone wants to multi-class, go for it. I'll okay, take it. The longer, the longer we get into this campaign, the less and less likely I'm going to make another character. Hmm. <laughs> Classic Josh plays. Hmm. I can't just detach uh, myself like you psychopaths. What do you mean? I've already had to. I got forced <laughs> to, in fact. Yeah, two seconds. I didn't even get to develop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. All right, I'm so very you guys happy about this. Set one. off uh, after picking up the mounts that morning. Uh, what do we got? Light to moderate rain today. Very chilly. You guys pull your cloaks up and uh, shield yourselves from the rain as you ride. Uh, first, southwest, down the road uh, for the first two days before veering off directly west for the Skyraker Forest. I will fast forward to day two. And then the weather clears up on the uh, the second day of, on the road. And then on the third day, more clear skies as you venture into the eastern uh, border of the Skyraker Forest. The uh, initial... Two days of, of travel through the actual forest pass by without incident. You camp out at night without getting attacked by any owl bears or anything. And it warms up a little more the next day, the fourth day where you uh, expect to come upon the place uh, where you saw on the mark the, uh, the map uh, inside the Chimera base, the uh, position marked with a uh, dragon chess piece. Uh, 
the rock, the, the, the sort of great eagle piece where it was sitting on the map. Uh, can I get a uh, survival check from someone to lead the way? 18. Oh, no. Benna, Benna. So, Rook, you lead on throughout the day uh, around three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, you guys are sort of, yeah, just beelining west, uh, heading towards the, the setting sun. Rook, as you're up in the lead, you swear up ahead, you can hear the sound uh, of some sort of engine in the distance. I'm gonna do these ones. <laughs> some, Zero some doesn't sort of... understand, he just keeps going. Shh, shh, <clears throat> Zero. Some sort of engine up ahead, listen. I listen. Do I hear anything? Roll me perception check. Udak will unsheath his shield and sword. Uh, Zero, your, your hearing's not quite as good as, as Rook's in your advanced age, so you can't hear it. Um, it's uh, But it is, uh, even to you, Rook, it's very distant, but it's uh, the unmistakable sound of uh, the crackling of some kind of large fiber crystal-powered engine. Is it? Of, uh, crackling uh, through the air and creating ozone. Is it the, like the size of the base that we, we saw it wrote? Uh, you can't see anything yet. But is that what the, like the same kind of sound as that? The, the what it wrote? Oh, the Argonth. The, the Argonth. Oh, no. The, uh, yeah. uh, no. Uh, Argonth is a little different. It doesn't have sort of the crackling electricity on the outside. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll... Motion everyone forward slowly. Yeah. As and you, not a right to take the lead. As you lead on for the next half hour, it gets louder and louder, and eventually uh, you deduce is unmistakably the sound of an airship. Like hovering in the air, or is, or, or know. is it just the sound of it? Okay. Yeah. I'm not at Ronan to keep us going. Right, so you, you get closer and closer to the sound. Eventually, it sounds like it's very close up ahead. At one point, the canopy of the forest uh, parts. And you spot up ahead a uh, large sort of uh, castle installation built on the edge of a, a small cliff rising above the canopy of the forest. Hovering... Uh, up near one of the uh, the castle's uh, large turrets, uh, an airship, uh, just sitting in place, uh, headed to the edge of the uh, the garrison. The crackle uh, of its engines, uh, yeah, just in plain sight now. Any markings that I can see? Any insignia? No. And is that all we see? Is this gigantic airship? Is there any base or anything? Uh, yeah. What I just said there was a giant castle. Did you miss all that? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I was looking at the um. I was focusing on the airship. I was trying to think of what to, what to do with the airship. <laughs> I was lost in thought. Um, right. Fuck. We got to get in there before it leaves. What you reckon? It's some kind of uh. Something to do with with. Jurasco, or what's his name? Jarus. We won't find out by staying out here. Alright, fuck it. Let's go, lads. Or will shoot his sword. Uh, but keep a shield. We're setting some ground rules here. I look at all that. I've already started riding off with the other two. <laughs> I thought we hadn't even moved yet. We, we hadn't moved yet. Oh, okay. I, I come back. Sorry, I thought we were going ahead. That's what you said. We find any prisoners. Yes. We're rescuing them this time. Of course, if there's what no other way to get them. Yes, if there's no other way to get them out, of course we'll rescue. Don't be silly. 
Ciro just kind of glares at Alder. He's like, hey, Ciro, right. it, it, honestly, if we can't if we can't save them, what do we do? We don't. What's have your solution? Enough. You don't want it to save them from screeching death. We we will save them. But, but what if we can't? We have to have a backup plan. Oh, if some butts, guys, let's just go. Exactly. Yes, I'm not wasting time. Kill the prisoners, I've got it, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, I'm keen. Let's go. I've driven one of these airships before. I I am excited to ride one again. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just approaching it in it. Uh, daylight. Yeah. Uh, well, we're in like forest still, aren't we? Yeah, we're. Well. Yeah. Isn't there a couple of three? Saw it through the canopy. I don't have Oh, that's where the canopy opened up. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> so if we stick underneath the uh, the thicker parts of the trees, we should be uh, fairly out of line. Uh, roll stealth checks for me. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> ha! Choose one. Oh. 15 or 15. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> How did I roll the best? How did I roll the best in Splint? In Splint. You're, really self you're self conscious about it, so you focus on it more. Uh, I'm not self conscious at all. I feel like Aldark is at least self conscious. <laughs> uh, who's taking the lead at the moment? Yeah, uh, Aldark will. Oh, Ronan? Ronan will. Uh, roll a perception check for me. Alright, so as you approach this uh, installation, this cliffside installation from below. You scout the area ahead, you deduce there. Uh, the, it looks like there's two ways uh, up. You you uh, spot uh, sort of a, a cliffside path that leads up to what must be the, the front gate of this installation. Or you spot a, a more difficult climb leading up to uh, what lo looks to be a small hollow area, possibly a cave underneath it. Which is the easiest uh, to traverse while riding a horse? I assumed you guys ditch your horses. Otherwise. That is correct. Yeah, once we got to the forest, we ditched the horses. I'm I mean... Like, well, we got to the point where we couldn't ride them anymore. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I really want <laughs> you to do something. Do you think we're like, pull, pulling them through like, this thicket, you know? No, I was... In my imagination, I was still riding it. Oh, right. yeah, well, we're like you, guys, you, you were still on the horses until you spotted the yeah. actual castle, and then you like yeah. leave the yeah, horses. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just ride the horses into battle through. The <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> we failed our uh, we failed our checks. Clearly, were too loud. I was gonna go fuck it. Let's ride in. That's why I had my sword and shield out. I was like, I'm ready to take shit on. Oh gosh. All right. Uh, well, um, which guys do you think who's who wants to climb? We can climb. Oh, he goes to the front door. I look Ciro up and down. I think he might struggle. It might be easiest to go from the bottom to the top. Well, it's the party's Oh, I don't mind either, so... I'm just putting my case forwards. Time's with the essence. It pains me greatly, but all that is right. At the front door it is. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, you just right. go into the front. Yeah, it looks like it. Fuck All right. it, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, as you uh, approach the front door, you, you do your best uh, to be stealthy, but uh, Rook and Zero is not used to traversing this kind of terrain, just tripping over here and there, or, and uh, yeah, just not used to uh, trying to keep a low profile. Uh, whilst they're pro approaching a place like through the woods, stepping on branches, making them snap. Um, you get... Within 50 feet of the, uh, the front of this garrison. And, uh... Yeah, you just, you're, you're just easily spotted by the guards <laughs> up ahead. Uh, you see, so you see uh, several guards both on the ground. Oh, first uh, you're spotted by guards up on the towers uh, on either side of the gate that sort of bring crossbows to bear. They shout out to uh, guards below. You see several more run out the front door, um, all running over and brandishing weapons. 
Looks like there's a good five or six of them at the moment. They're calling me out for more. Uh, they begin loosing bolts at you <laughs> in the distance. What, what do you guys want to do? Uh, fight them. All right. <laughs> yep, TPK, uh, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, we can always start running if we get cooked. Yeah. Zero is just going to start running. Oh, he's Once still, the oh, he's... bolt starts to fly. Oh, okay. <sighs> And long sword in hand, I guess. Well, can we not parlay with them a little bit? We don't necessarily have to fight them. We'll be like, oh, we were looking to have a look at the airship. Firing crossbows you know, at them. With my, my sword's drawn. You have your sword and shield. Oh. Drawn. What, what else could we be doing? All right, fuck it. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. And got weapons on us. I apologize to everyone, by the way. That's good. Him. I was taken up by laughter. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm so keen. Oh dear. Oh, the session's not bad. <clears throat> nah, I reckon I re we've got this. Come on. Throw that protector bot down, and that'll absorb most of the damage we have, right? Never. We play it smart. I've got. Sitting on 19 AC. I'm happy, I'm keen. Alright then, roll initiative. Oh, taking the 20, nice. Oh, it's music. Alright, and here we go. <laughs> Just everyone roll nat 20s and we'll be fine. Alright, so one of the archers uh, looses Two arrows from the tower in front of you at the, uh, yeah, the, the, I assume, uh, formation. One arrow at Oldark, one arrow at Ronan. Nineteen AC as well. Same here, baby. Old Ark, you are hit. You take six piercing damage. Ronan, yep. as you're uh, dashing through the, the underbrush, the arrow uh, streaks past, uh, gets hit by a branch and deflected. Rook, it's your nice. turn. Um, stay behind us, little fella. Chuchink. Protect bot. Drop it down. Right there. Boy. Um... I will. I guess I'll activate it now as a bonus. Six. That's all I'll do. Alright. Uh, another guard unleashes an arrow at Ronan. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Uh, you're hit again, Ronan. Oh no, you weren't. You weren't hit. Uh, you uh, you were hit this time. Uh, you take uh, right. two piercing damage. Oh. Old Ark, it's your turn. I'll drip blast the uh, this one here. All right, they have just start heavy running forward. <laughs> they have a uh, heavy cover from the parapets there behind. Has has a nat one. A nat one. It just hits the the bricks in front of them. Explodes. Shower of force. Right. I'll move there. 
All right. Okay. Hmm. I, uh, Zero. Hmm. You better. Okay. Zero starts to run away. You know, running from the crossbow bolts and whatnot. And he's like, oh, God. And then, and then Rook's shield pops up and he's like caught and he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he's like, oh, save me. And I runs back <laughs> into the shield and like uh, puts his hands on the back of Ronan and Oldak. Oldak's moved off. Uh, if it's a touch spell, Oldak's out of range. You little bitch. All right, well, casting it on Rook and Oldak. Um, fuck, and Ronan. Um, cast heroism. Ooh. So you guys are immune to being frightened, and you both get three HP at the start of each of your turns for the next it's, ten turns. It's temp HP, so yeah, know. sorry, it's temp HP. You get yeah. three temp HP every turn for the next but, uh, ten. It turns. doesn't exceed what Rook's one's already granting them, so they won't get it. Well, but if we if we happen Wait, what? to fall yeah, yeah, below, yeah, because they have six temp HP at the moment, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they won't gain it at the moment. Because it doesn't exceed six. Because it doesn't exceed six. You can't stack two sources of have... HP. Yeah. Only have one HP. So yeah. not score a third turn then, and then we'll go to nine, right? No. No, 10 HP oh. never stacks. It's oh. whichever one is your best source of 10, 10 HP. That's yeah. the one you get. So do. you can never drop below Because otherwise, Because otherwise, if um his bot uh constantly gave out six every turn, we'd be up to like 50... Temp HP in no oh, time. Oh, don't get me wrong. I I, under I understand that we don't stack. Uh, was it called rooks? But I thought like if it's every three turns, once we've like it goes two turns of three HP takes you to six, right? And then then you no. then go another. Three no, 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 no. You, you will like gain it back if you lose it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So you can't drop below three temp HP for the next. Base hopefully for the rest of this combat. Yep. Well, you can, cool. but because it, it, you get it at the start of your turn or whatever. Save me, guys! Save me! That'll be my turn. Alright, uh, Ronan, it's your turn. Um, can I, can I, uh, is it just a wall that I can see here? Yeah. Are they sh yeah, and they're shooting through little slits? Yeah. Mm, that's unfortunate. Alright. Um... Yeah, cool. yeah, boy, come on. Let's go. Fucking go. <clears throat> right. Uh, no, no, no. Bonus action. I'm gonna I don't know if this my echo. Oh shit! I can't see. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. I'm done. All right. Actually, yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah, I'm good. Do we think this is the first encounter? All right, the guard up on the uh, southern tower goes, Oh, a spooky ghost! Why <laughs> uh, his crossbow at your uh, your echo and uh, misses. Yeah, just hits the ground next to it. One of the large, very large Warforged soldiers with uh, blades built into their arms and armed with heavy shields, storms forwards, assaults Boy. your echo. Man. God damn it. Uh, what do we got there? Yeah. Echoes AC. Is 16. 16 is correct. All right, he um, walks forwards. I uh, just your echo. Uh, yeah, has uh, has it's got moves. It sidesteps it. Bruh. And the other one uh, storms up next to it and does the same. Oh, they get two attacks each. All right, never mind. Uh, the other one makes his first attack. Oof. Uh, he hits it. It dissipates as his sword leaves through the echo. Uh, in that case, the other one then uh, dashes to get into... Actually, no, he stands there and forms a phalanx with the the, the other Warforged soldier. They raise their shields and brace themselves for combat. Awesome. End of the round... Oh, that's lots of initiative. Zero. Your turn. <laughs> uh, Zero is cowering behind the shield. Look, Rook! Rook, they're shooting at us! 
He's gonna get us killed. Alright, Rook. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought you were done. Rook can be totally useless. Just um, then he's gonna shoot back with a guiding bolt at one of the 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 bottom one. At that one. Uh, it splashes yeah, against it. the building for no effect. Yeah, Zero's uh, just way too scared. Uh, Rook, it's your turn. I'm gonna turn to Zero. We gotta stay protected, but we also gotta get out of their line of sight. Let's go, let's move up. Um. Okay, I will. Can I cast? Does my cannon count as a creature? Uh, I think so. Why? I would like to cast Long Strider on it. Uh, Ooh. yeah, well, that's fine. Just have to double check it. Uh, works with constructs, I guess. This says you touch a creature. Yeah, that's no reason by it wouldn't. Foot. Cool. All right. Uh, that is my action. And I will move one, two. No, come back! To there, six. Oh, uh, actually, I want to activate the Eldritch Cannon first, Josh, sorry. While I'm back there. And so it's, uh, aura hits both me and Zero. Okay. Uh. Four, okay, seven. Better than six. <laughs> And then I'll move up and get the. Oh god, I can't see where the cannon can move to. Ah. Is that. That's 30. Okay. So, two. Nope. I got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Whoop. Just there. Yeah, alright, thanks. That's it. Alright. Cool. Ronan. Thank you, Mia. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I know. I was, I was yelling to myself. Um, this is a very smart choice. What's that? Which, this is what? a very good idea, what we're doing. Don't worry. Oh, rushing the front. Yeah, sure. Uh, Great. Yeah, cool. Just blame uh, on Zero's lack of climbing skill. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna straight into it. Take oh. on, take on blade one. Uh, roll with disadvantage as they are uh, their phalanx forms an impenetrable shield. <sighs> uh, sure. Uh, uh. Uh, eighteen. Oh. Is a hit. Oh. Okay, that's good. Uh, five damage. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That's my bonus action done. <clears throat> my turn's over. All right. Uh... All right. The archer. Looks down, concentrates fire on the bot. Right in front of him. Uh -oh. uh, the bot is hit for five piercing damage. He loses a second arrow. That's hit for a further eight piercing damage. Guard directly above Oldark points his crossbow down. No. Attempts to shoot Oldark. You are hit. You take six piercing damage. Alt. God damn it. Comes down, pierces your shoulder plate. Goes into the flesh of your shoulder. Yeah, 
Cool. The uh, guard up in the southern tower loses a crossbow bolt down at Ronan. Uh, he misses. He's a pretty bad shot, apparently. Uh, one Warforged shol uh, soldier uh, goes into a whirlwind uh, with the blade attached to its arm, striking once at Ronan. Uh, you are hit for seven slashing damage. And spinning round to uh, attempt to hit the Echo. Swings a little too wild. You duck at the same time. Your Echo mirrors you. The blade passes over its head. Uh, the other soldier does the same. Seem to be like dancing around in a sort of synchronized formation of blade work. Uh, he's attack at Ronan misses. Second attack at the uh, Echo also misses. Oldark, it's your turn. Um, Oldark will cast Bane on this creature, this creature, and this creature. So they all need to do uh, charisma saving throws, I believe. There you go. Yep. What's the DC? Uh, 13. So low. Why is it 13? All right, so the two Warforged have failed the guard pass. Yes! All right, good. So they, every time they attack, have to roll a d4, and whatever number comes up, they have to minus that from the attack against us okay. for the next few rounds. Um, nice! This one's talking about... One minute concentration. Yeah, it's got concentration, though. So... Mm -mm. That is my move. that is my main action. Uh, let's have a look at the There's no staircase or anything that I can see that goes upstairs, is there? No. Front door okay. to the complex is over here. All right, I guess I have to go here. Wait, does that mean we have um, uh, flanking? If I stand there, we have flanking. Yes. Nice. That's why I was like, the only place I could stand is here. Yeah. And I'm just moving through threatened squares, so it works out. So when you have concentration, then you can't you can't make melee attacks. No, if no, you if get I... hit, you have to roll to maintain it. Right. Okay. Gotcha. If yep. I get hit, I have to roll to maintain it. So hopefully, yep. <clears throat> they don't bother to hit me. Uh, the archer. Well, we or they can't one. hit me. Archer, up on the wall, uh, oh, sorry. loses I... another two. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, I, was, I completely forgot about my curse, um, but don't worry, I'll just do that next round. Okay. It's all good. Uh, loses two arrows down at the uh, Tecto bot. Uh, first arrow hits for 10 piercing damage, the second one just da -na 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 into the ground. Uh, Kyle's on the phone at the moment, so he probably can't hear you. Not true. How much HP does that little fella have? Is it 23? Uh, Wasn't 23? Yeah, it was. It was before that. It, it was like... 13 and then 10. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought it was just a 10. Damn. Oh, has he been gone mm. that long? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He got a sudden phone call. It must be work. Okay. Uh, mm. And it is your turn, Ronan. Oh boy. Just, just do murder. Oh yeah, but the problem is after cast murder. What are you doing? Just cast murder. Yeah, just cast murder because we've all got fucking spells. Yeah. Remember, Josh, you get three temp HP back if you don't have any. Oh, nice. Thank you. Alright, um... 10 HP, uh, not normal HP. Yeah, I know. I heard 10. It's all good. Your normal HP bar just went up, isn't it? No, because I added temp. That's how temp works. Oh, uh, okay. The, it just must be the way of Foundry's HP bar responds. Cool. That's exactly... Yeah, that's right, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, you got it in the, okay. separate, the separate thing on D&D &D Beyond, yeah? 
Yeah, I put in 10. Okay, the thing that okay says sweet. 10, I yeah, it's, uh, it's, okay. I just don't know, I don't know how Boundaries Bar interacts with it. It's all good. Yeah, all good. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a attack with my katana. Um, uh, this is uh, this still in phalanx mode, are they? Yeah. So at disadvantage. Well, it wouldn't be because nah, you've got be flanking. Cancelled out, but you're our first one missed anyway. So 11. Okay. Yep, no worries. I'm then going to use. Um, oh, God damn, I had to keep jumping around pages. Um, which is one unleash incarnation from my echo, which is going to be another katana attack. Oh God, I need these to be bad rolls. All right, <laughs> I'm going to use an action surge to make another katana attack. Oh my God, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, I'm going to use another unleash incarnation to attack from my echo again. This is all directed to the one in front of us, by the way. So uh, that one is a hit for five damage. Nice. nice. And my last attack would be my bonus action to strike with my wakazashi. Uh, that one is a miss. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, so Ronan just goes into an anime style. Just uh, him and his, his uh, echo just sort of dashing around, making multiple blade strikes with this... Uh, two Warforged are just working in complete cooperative tandem, just diverting blows from each other like a, a, a group of Spartans lined up. Get out of here. Uh, I have no idea what Rook would want to do right now. Yeah. He would get in the melee. 100%. Uh, he tried to move his Eldritch cannon thingy up to help the people in combat and then yeah, probably throw a rock. It, it could be dead. I think it probably is dead. 23 on that. Yeah. I'd, I'd yeah, if, it that if that thing has 23 HP, holy shit. I'm pretty, sure okay. it has his I'm pretty sure it has 20 HP. Fairly sure. Mm. I think that's five times his level. I'll look but, it up. Uh, what class is? Uh... Fisses D and D find me. And he's a tillerist. There's an AC of eighteen and number hit points equal to five times your artificer level. Yeah. There you go. It, it, so it's dead. In this... <clears throat> He'll throw rocks at people, it's been pretty effective so far. Yeah, Rook will uh, magic stone. Does that cost a, a spell slot at all? Nah, it's Bonus action. Trip. Fuck yeah, do that. That's a hit. He, he reaches around the corner and magic stones uh, the uh, Warforged in the, the top of the melee there. Oh, northern one. That's my uh, one. Takes five damage. Is he bloodied? <laughs> Alright, the guard uh, in the southern tower <clears throat> loses a crossbow down at Ronan. Crossbow bolt, I should say. Uh, this one is a miss. Ronan's just moving too rapidly within the melee. The bolt buds into the ground. Alright, Warforged soldier in front of Ronan makes two attacks. One at Ronan is a hit at 20. You take eight slashing damage. Oh, how you feeling, Ronan? Good. It spins in a, 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 a one motion cleave, spins around, passes its blade through your echo, which dissipates. So, how, how much did you hit me with the first attack, Josh? Uh, eight slashing damage. Ugh. Uh, if then uh, the northern one makes one attack at Oldark, then one attack at Ronan. Oldark, you are hit for five slashing damage. It needs to do a save, please. As I hit it for 18! Come on, dexterity saving throw. How much was that? Eight damage? Five damage? Uh, to you, you took five damage. Okay, cool. I, I heard five, but I thought eight. 
So just quick, up to that thing that you did, Old Dark. So every time they attack us, they, at the end of their turn, they need to roll a d4, and then that's in. Yeah, they any attacks done uh, by these Warforged guys need to do a d4, and then reduce. They need to roll a d4 and reduce that off their attack roll. Uh, uh, the first the one was turn, more than no? enough to hit. No, it's when they make an attack roll, but first one was a. Yeah, when they make an attack roll. Yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. I was, I was trying to, I was trying to so work. You're definitely hit. It's and what about that second one? Uh, right. Second one, uh, he failed his uh, dexterity save, the... so he takes 18 fire damage. And the attack oh. on me still hit through, even though the d4 yeah, was there. Yeah, rolled a 23, it hit you. Oh, okay, but what about the one against Ronin and the one against Ronin's echo? Uh, you got to remind me when I do it. Um, oh, okay, sorry. Check these. Yeah. All right, I'll keep... Yeah. I'll keep an eye on it. Well, what, um, I've got to roll... What's I'm call it now, don't I? Concentration. Uh, what's that? Is it is it the saving throw for the one that I am? I forget what it is. Sorry. Uh, it's a constitution saving throw. Okay. Ooh. I'm trained and I'm proficient at it. The 10 plus. Uh, well, I fail. I fail. So that Bane thing no longer exists. So, ah. it saved you, it saved from, ta oh, it doesn't matter. It did save anyone, dude. <laughs> nah, he failed his thing, he took 18 damage, that's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, the, uh, you had the good with the badge, you know? Yeah, but I that could have been... Uh, that's I, just a... rolled, I just rolled the Bane for the attack that hit Ronan, it still hit. And... Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Cool. That's cool, man. Like, we, like, it's like, we yeah. don't shit for it. We don't, it's alright. And... Yeah, they both still hit. You only rolled a two on the default. Okay, both perfect. Times. That's alright. Nice. I've always had that sitting there, like, oh, I should use it, I should use it. And then as soon as I use it, I'm like, nah, nah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Zero, it's your turn. Okay, uh, Zero will, like, when Rook leaves with his shield bot, he's like, Rook, no, 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 and chases after him. And, like, as he's running, when the shield bot gets killed and the shield just dissipates around him, he just panics. And he keeps running, so he double moves up towards uh, Ronan. Oh, and God. That'll be my turn. Alright, all dark. I'm really pissed off, I forgot to curse him beforehand. I was like, ah, oh, but it was already in through the. Fuck. Because I, I need to do my fucking second wind. I have to. Got no other healing. Alright, do my second wins first of all. Oh, okay. it didn't. Uh, oh. I have to slash roll. Hey, I get 11 back. Okay. That's really not, good. Not 12? Ah, oh, 12. Even better. You know what? I'll take that extra one. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> all right, well, I'll do a melee attack against this one, uh, with my longsword. Does a 15 hit? That is Probably a miss. Not. It is deflected by his Okay. Shield. That's fine. I'm going to use my action surge, and I'm going to attack again. And that's a miss. God fucking... Yes. Fuck it. No, I'm now out of spell slots, and out of healing, and out of... Thing attacks, man. I fucked up bad. Oh, and, uh, Ciro, as you run panicky uh, through the garrison, the guard uh, on the north tower at the bottom loses a crossbow bolt down at you. Uh, it. You are hit. Take 11 piercing damage. Ooh. It catches you in the side. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Oh, it was. Oh, don't worry. All right, Back at the top. bottom again. Top of the round. The archer uh, moves around to get a better line of sight down at the melee. Unleashes an arrow at Zero and an arrow at Ronan. Um, did I get hit at all, Josh? Uh, you didn't, but your bot got destroyed. Yep. It has 20 it's HP, yeah? 15 now. Oh, 20 now, yeah. Yeah. Took 23. Damn it. From from one hit? Two hits. Uh, Three yeah, hit multiple times, yeah. Um, Disappointed! 
Zero, you take... And then you magic stone to do it and hit him. Um, Thanks. Zero, you take 12 damage as another... Oh, this time an arrow uh, pierces your side. Uh, Ronan, the arrow goes over your head and uh, kicks up a little dirt. Then a, another hail of bolts from the guard on the southern tower. Again, down at Ronan. This dude is having this the is worst day of his life. Leave. This guy is just throwing bolts away, trying to hit Ronan. Ronan's just dipping and diving around in the combat. Uh, it's your turn, Ronan. Cool. I'm going to just flurry a blaze. This blow because I got no. <laughs> uh, bam. Right one. At least I was still flanking them, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. So, uh, oh yep. well, if you're attacking the top one, if, yes. The bottom one, no. If you're top. Top one's flanked. Alright, one second. So Let me just roll it. Yeah, I'll just take that one then. Alright, so one. Same eight. target, let's whittle them down. The top one takes eight damage. Uh, you miss with your second attack. Guard at the uh, north tower looses a crossbow bolt down at Rook. 17, 17 to hit Rook, you take 6 damage. Alright. And it's your turn, Rook. Um, Alright, I'll pick up the broken pieces of my bot. Infuse them with, with a bit of uh, magical life. Expend a spell slot and redeploy the bot. Um, where is it? Ugh. Um, and I'll act. Uh, yeah, and then I'll move into here. And then move the bot to there. It's just out of me. Yeah! I, I can get it to there. Can you activate it? I can. Fuck yeah. yes. That's what we wanted this whole time. Uh, oh, okay. I get another 3 HP, right? After that, my turn. You get 8 HP. Okay. Well, your temp goes to 8 if it's not at yep. 8. Yep. Um. And I'm gonna shout. I, I don't really know what's happening, but should should we get out of here? Maybe. Uh, oh, it's not my turn, so I can't respond. <laughs> Warforged yeah, no, soldier just... at the bottom steps around Ronan, makes an attack at him, <laughs> and then an attack at Zero. <laughs> Uh, Ronan, you're hit for five slashing damage. Ouch. Zero, you're hit for five slashing damage. And it's your turn, Zero. Well, you know what's coming. Come on, crit on inflict Do wounds. It. Do it! Um, yeah, just like slashes at Zero, and Zero just like panics and sticks his hands out. <clears throat> Uh, oh, this, uh, Zero, that, that's, that, that's not that's not how Zero does it. What you plant you your hands on his shield. Uh, there's a flash of purple energy, but no effect. Zero clearly just not in. Um, it's he's not in enough imminent danger, so he's gonna be fine. Hmm. Good point. Uh, the Warforged soldier at the top attempts to maneuver into a better position against Ronan. Oldark, you could take an opportunity attack at. Fucking oath, I will. Uh, He's a miss. He 14. dashes your hit aside and then makes an attack at advantage on Ronan. Ronan, you are hit for nine slashing damage. It then drives its blade downwards at the bot. The body's all a little nimble. The blade just stabs into the ground. The bot side steps it. Zoom, zoom. 
Hold on, it's your turn. For my first action as my bonus action, I'm cursing that guy. Because I was meant to do it like the first two rounds, but I haven't had a chance because I needed my bonus action before. So I curse this the, the boy that's standing over the bot. I then move behind him and I take an attack on him with advantage. So that's an 8, 23 to hit. I presume that hits. is a hit. Roll my damage. Uh, for 7 damage. 7 damage. Yep. And counts. I believe that's the end. Oh. And that is almost everything. I can still do my breath weapon, guys. But everyone's in the way. All right, you uh, plunge your blade into the uh, the Warforge, finding a gap in its defense. Uh, there is a spill of alchemical fluids. Uh, at this point, the front door bursts open. No matter what comes through that gate, you will stand your ground. Mm. Run! Back up, we will. I'm out of here. Zero, if you bail, our lives will be prisoners. And you know what I do to prisoners. So imagine me as a prisoner. If you guys stay, we're gonna fucking die. Now. Oh, the professor's fucking here. Fucking Jarrus! Is that his name? He's right there, boys. We have to do it now. We have to. We have to commit. We right, have to he commit. He steps out. Zero, if you're not forged in front of him. He points. He says, hey, hurt them as much as you want, but I want them alive. <laughs> have to update his statistics. They are wrong. It's right. The guys up top are going to run out of ammo. And they have to come down. We'll become uh, human porcupines. <clears throat> well, whatever oh, right. they are porcupines. Ooh. All right. Boy, a lot of initiatives to roll here. What have you guys done? Oh, I'm actually mid this time. <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. It's okay. I've been either the last one or the second last one for the past three rounds. It's nice to be at the middle. All right. One of the uh, new Warforged soldiers enters the fray, runs forwards. He makes two <clears throat> arm blade attacks at Ronan. Ronan, you're take hit him out one at a time, Ronan. Nine slashing damage from one of the hits. You duck under the other one. Zero, it's your turn. <clears throat> Come on, Zero. Do something. Uh, have a look at Ronan. How does Ronan look? I assume I'd be bleeding. I've been I have to assess a how healthy Ronan looks. What would I deduce? Fucked up. <laughs> what are you doing, Sierra? I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on Ronan. Alright, nice. Alright, Ronan, you gain 6 HP. Thank you. Hey, it's better than none. The uh, lead archer up the top yells out to the other two Concentrate fire on that shield bot! No, don't, please! Uh, he loses two arrows. Guys, we should get out of here. Shieldbot yes. takes uh, six piercing damage. Followed by nine piercing damage for, as the uh, two arrows pepper it. Ding, ding. Ooh. All right, the... Uh, does, does he get temporary HP from his own thing? Uh, <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. 
What's its rules? I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, if it says any creature within the field, each creature of my choice within ten foot of it. Well, he, is he in your choice? I'd say because uh, it, like, it, it says like uh, within ten cheesy. foot of it. Yeah, it'd be cheesy as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it doesn't. Uh, All right, uh, the uh, right now. Warforged to the south of Ronan makes uh, two attacks at advantage. Ronan, you take nine slashing damage. And the second attack misses. You duck underneath it. The Southern Guard whispers to himself, this is my moment. This bolt's going to hit. Fires. He gets a critical hit on the bot. Oh, the bot takes. Uh... Oh no, it's all over. <laughs> oh, the bot takes. Uh, what is that? Nine damage. Yeah, it's gets destroyed. Just res it again. It's fine. I do still have one spell slot left. Come on, baby. I'm just wondering if we lose the temp HP. I don't believe so. No, the temp, I think the temp stays. Because we've had it after combat for a little while once. Yeah, but that's All only right. when the bot's been alive. The halfling Dr. Jarrus uh, oh, steps... No. Yeah, we, we keep... Extends an arm uh, towards... Pointing a, a finger at Old Dark. I think you should lay down for me. Oh, that is the wrong spell. Ooh. A, uh, ooh, one, three, four, five, six, oh, yes, this is uh, a purple bolt of energy streaks across the, uh, crackles across the grounds towards Old Dark. Uh, Old Dark near constitution saving throw. Yeah, boy. Oh. That's not good. It's, it's, it's the lowest number. Old Dark, you take 47 damage. As this purple energy encompasses your body and just you begin to feel nothing but pain as the life is sucked out of you. The doctor is <gasps> the purple energy streaks back towards his hand. He's like, Help. Let me do some math. If Old Dog literally dies, I have to go for a cigarette. I can't continue. Um. Wow. Is it my current hit points and then everything afterwards, or is it my including, full hit it, points? It's your current, including the temp. Yeah, current, including temp, and then max after that. And if it beats all of that. Doing the math now. That's so much suspense! Yep. Oh. Where you fucking yep. go? <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. What? Yep. Fuck's sake. Uh, Uldar gets hit by this purple light, and it just hits him. And you just see his skin just flail, and bits of him just... Or actually, no, because it absorbs it, it just hits him and just his body just kind of contorts and twists and just it's as if all the moisture gets pulled out of it as this liquid then le this like beam leaves him and hits into the uh, the doctor and Udo just falls to the ground with his like armor just hanging on, on him like loosely and he just hits the ground dead. Oh my god, I can't believe you know the character died. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at least this one took 10 sessions, I guess. Yeah, but it's 12. Yeah, but you lost... Uh, so, come... I, lo yeah. I lost the other one at... Um... Yeah. So, so you lost two. it at 2, it's been 12, so you lost this one at 10. So yeah. the next one will be at 72. 72? <laughs> yeah. Where did you get 72 from? Because you times it by six each time. Oh. Two times six times six. How do we know we're not just adding ten each time? Mm. How do we know we're not just... It could be 22 next time. It could be... 
Could be. It All could right. be 14 and then 24. Guard on the north tower points his crossbow down at Rook. Fuck. This is a bolt. Rook, you take uh, five damage as the bolt hits you. Um, take five temp HP away, thanks. Uh, the Warforged soldier next to the doctor goes to run forwards. The soldier taps him on the shoulder. He's, wait! Stops. Soldier in combat with Ronan attacks him twice. Uh, first one misses. Uh, both of them misses. Uh, uh, Ronan just ducking around in a flurry of dexterity. Rook, it's your turn. Oh boy, what do I do? Uh, can I just suggest something quickly? I'm just gonna throw this out there. Hmm. Serious fault because he can't climb. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say that as well. Yeah. I never um, said we go in the front. I, I didn't even say anything. That was all Adam. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I just run. So let's run. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm running, but I'm yeah. I'm wondering if I can if I can heal Alder. Um, I'm pretty sure. Did he like? He's dead, dead. He yeah, looks like one of the victims from the dummy. They're like the the shriveled up like. Yeah, like you know where they're all sucked up. And they kind Fuck. of look like a bit of jerky. <sighs> all right. Ah, uh, fuck. All right. I'm gonna, the little spare bit of metal that I've always got attached in the inside of my arm, tunk, pull that out, throw it at, at the, the bot to revive it. The bot is there as well, by the way, isn't it? I believe it was underneath the Warforge, yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's, yeah. Just move it yeah, so yeah. you can see it. I just moved yeah, it cool. so I could, yeah, see. Yeah, I'm just gonna do uh, that whole thing, Josh. Reactivate the bot with some, uh, some magics. Okay. And then activate it. Uh, to give everyone a bit of temp. Which will be... Ooh, 11 temp. For three of us. Um, and then what I want to do is get the bot to run from where it is here. One square down underneath, uh, underneath Ronan. Um, and then directly towards me, it's last 10 feet. So, triggering all three of the opportunity attacks by these Warforged. Uh, okay. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, we are. Oh, the first two miss, then the third one crits. Uh, but only does seven damage. Oh, cool. All right. Um, so it's down to 13 HP, and it is there. Oh, I should be there. Um, I want to run, so you can go there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, back into the forest. And I'm done. Okay, Ronan. Uh, okay, so quick question. Yeah. Can I trade an action for a bonus action? Is that no. allowed in 50? No, you, no, you can't. Ah, oh, you fucking cock. Dude, if you could, my character would be even more broken. Yeah, true, I guess. This is kind of annoying. Uh, Alright, well, in that regard, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I'm going to manifest my echo 15 feet away. Which is like uh, there. Um, my action, I'm going to use uh, my second wind. That roll. Oh, it just, it just... Ugh, gross. And you get your fighter level as well, was it? Which is right. four, so eight. Why did that just make go up six? Seen. Um... And... Ah, oh, shit, I can't, I can't see, Josh, because, um, can you... Do 15 feet for my echo to the bush, another 15 feet. 
Ah, uh, okay. Good Actually, yeah, yeah, so it's like 30 feet away. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, Rook just like cleared the way so you could run without opportunity attacks. Yeah, there's no opportunity attacks at the moment, Josh. Oh, that was, oh, that really? was the whole oh. point of Rook doing his thing with the bot. Yeah, my I, bot, I, I, my I bot do not understand right. how that works because I'm like, there's three guys around me. How do they not get opportunity attacks? Yeah, because the bot, they only get one reaction. Right, okay. Well, okay, well, can I reverse that and just run yeah, 30 yeah. feet then? Yeah, I was like, cool. I thought you were kamikaze -ing. I was like, oh, bro, let's get it. No, 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 no. That was all before Elder got one hit. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and actually, as for my bonus, I'm just gonna manifest my echo 15 feet away from me. <laughs> so it's there, whatever. Oh no. Yeah, there. Oh, zero. Feels bad, man. Well, I'll duck. To I... <laughs> Do you... Oh no. Oh boy, uh, the uh, the guard shoots at uh, Ronan and Rook as they attempt to escape. Flee! Uh, Flee for your lives! A miss. Uh, the doctor yells out to the Warforge, Seize him! The Warforge drops his shield and with his arm that doesn't have a blade attached to it, attempts to grapple Zero. Zero, need a uh, either an athletics check or an acrobatics check. Oh, zero, you slip underneath it and are not grappled. Come on, zero. And it. then the other one does the same, drops his shield and steps forward. <laughs> I need another, <laughs> one. another one, another one, another one. Oh shit! No! No! Oh, Why shit. is there one of the two oh. next to each other on that dice? It's the same. Uh, you you slip him as well. Yes! <laughs> Come on, zero! You both got three. Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> uh, the yeah, archer, seeing devil. that the warforge is keeping zero busy, runs forward, loses first an arrow at uh rook, and then an arrow at Ronan. Uh, Rook, you are hit for eight piercing damage. Arrow catches you in the back. Uh, Ronan, it just hits a bush nearby. Zero, it's your turn. Can't get me! <laughs> Fucking run! Run! <laughs> um, so can you not double move in fifth, fifth E? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you dash, you, you could dash. You can spend your action, you action to dash to increase your movement by another 30 feet. Right. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, Zero, did you disengage and run, or straight up just hook it? What's the difference? Uh, I'm just gonna run. Attacks of opportunity. Attacks yeah, opportunity, I'm that's the difference. Yeah. Like, uh, not disengage and run? Just run. Right. Wow. I'm gonna, double, I'm gonna double move, I'm saving that second action. Alright. You are a bold one. <gasps> now there are two of them. Oh, now there are two. Uh, one of them cleaves you across the back for four slashing damage. You go to one yes. for his damage. The other one also slashes you for seven as you attempt to run for it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, no. Sorry, they dropped their shields, not their blades. Their blades are attached to them. They... <laughs> <laughs> it's still fine, right? That was just there. I think he's that was just my temp HP took all that. Yeah. He's okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. There's the temp. And then I use my other move action to run. <laughs> run. <laughs> run. Uh, We're all gonna die. Uh, what do we got? Uh, there's one more shot uh, at who's in his line of sight there. A half-ass shot at Ronan. Nah, it pings off the wall and misses. Uh, all right, so the movement, the way it is at the moment, you guys will be able to just keep running and they'll be pursuing you. So, so uh, everyone's still left alive. Roll initiative. And we're going to do a chase scene. Have we, have we made it back to the horses yet? No, you're still right in front of the castle. 
it's uh, just using the map for measurement. So on your turn, you basically just take your tunnel turn as normal, um, but you're in uh, as as though you're in combat. But you know you guys are trying to run. So if you're far enough away at the end of each turn, you make a stealth check to uh, try and escape. Yep. All right, so this Warforge is going to dash here. Rook, it's your turn. What do you want to do? So you can cast spells and stuff still if you want to try and hinder your pursuers, or you could just uh, move and dash. You're muted, Kyle. I'd like to rifle through my bag mm -hmm. as I'm running away. Um, and get out to, uh, of those cl climbing pythons, pythons, whatever you want right. to call them, and chuck one to Ronan. Okay. And that'll be it. I'll just keep running. Alright, so... So uh, you spend one action doing that, and then spend another moving 30 feet. Ronan, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to double move. All right. Wait, make me, would you like me to make a stealth check when I get into the bushes? Uh, we do it at the end of the round. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Sierra, what do you want to do? Uh, are those two Warforged, like, actually right behind me? No, though? no, they won't take opportunity attacks or anything. It's just for measurement. Okay, cool. Uh, I will double move. Come on, kid! Don't stop! Alright, uh, so the uh, three of you make stealth checks. Whoever goes first has advantage, courtesy of Savage. Oh, yeah. Can I please? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> Why did it roll two? Oh, it rolled me at disadvantage, even though I just. <laughs> Alright, you get a 10. Uh, and zero. I was giving a 19. <laughs> Motherfuck. <laughs> Not bad though, 15. Alright, so zero and Ronan. Uh, you have uh, effectively escaped and taken yourself out of the out of the chase, but you can, by choice, re-enter it if you want. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm Read, the Read the Warforge corner rook. <laughs> in a clearing. Uh, Rook, you have to make an acrobatics or an athletics check to escape grapple. <laughs> I'm just gonna very slowly do this just to pass it off. I'm sure it wants to give me advantage. Very slowly going <laughs> my acrobatics. Oh, wait, which one is acrobatics? That's right, it's at the top, right? Damn it! 
No, I didn't chat though, no, whatever. <laughs> oh no! Oh yes, Savage <laughs> did! Plus? Uh, yeah, yeah, Plus, go. Josh? <laughs> go. Oh, Plus? Oh yes. shit! Yes! yes. <sighs> Alright, Jesus, give me strength. Oh no! Can't do that two more times. Uh, that Addis. Uh, one, well, one of them got a twenty-five, unfortunately. So you have been oh. grappled. Feck. Uh, you have. Well, hell, we'll roll initiative. To how, how how is he grappling me? Uh, just two, like two of them have grabbed you, and they're just like picking you up. Grab, grab me where? <laughs> what do you mean? Drop your I, arms I, like I, a gecko. I, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Um. Yes! <laughs> Do it! Can I use my inspiration <laughs> to drop my arms like a gecko? <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta drop both your arms like a gecko to get away. I will allow that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, Rook detaches both of his prosthetic arms to slip the grapple, um, buying you another turn uh, to get away. You move, you sprint into <laughs> the tree line. Uh, roll a stealth check. Oh. Mm, there we go. All right, disadvantage. You're not a disadvantage anymore, right? Because you don't have your. No, it's his armor. No, it's, just, it's my armor. Ah. Uh. All right, you haven't oh, no, got away yet. Shielding. There is another turn of pursuit. Okay. All right, they act before you. Oh. So, uh, they have to double move to catch up, so it's your turn. You get to move again. And then uh, if you... Yeah, so you can double move if you want, and then uh, another stealth check to get away. I'll keep sprinting. Oh, it just keeps getting worse. Meanwhile, I'll go to, to Ryan and I'll be like, where's the kid? I thought he's behind you. I thought he was with Help! you. Help! <laughs> I think you might be in trouble. Do we hear that? Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, another... Round of initiative. Oh, Rook, you act before them this time. Oh, wait. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Uh, <laughs> they act before you again. Uh, they catch up. Uh, roll uh, another attempt as they uh, corner you one more time. What about rolling? Acrobatics? Uh, acrobatics or athletics. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, why isn't it adding the... the annoying? I think you've got advantage you can. Do I? Oh man, I've got to put a limit on that. Here we go. <laughs> you, yeah, you have advantage on it. Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna help, but I'll give it a go. It doesn't. No. You're grappled again. They catch up to you. Pile on top of you, all three of them. <laughs> well, you go, uh, Zero and Ronan from the bushes. Yeah, you hear uh, Rook screaming for help as uh, these three Warforged uh, take custody of him. Grab him, restrain him, and begin walking him back towards the rock installation. Ryan doesn't move. Zero is very uh, torn. But 
but he knows he can't take him by himself. Hey, Ronan can't take him even with zero. <laughs> That's why Ronan doesn't move. <laughs> we might be able to go in and do a rescue mission, but it's suicide again now. Do the Warforge take his arms as well, or do they just drop them? Uh, well, I guess you guys don't know. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is, uh, Ciro and Ronan, uh, you move to consolidate yourselves and work out how to handle the situation. Uh, moving back to the horses, uh, Amelia is still there waiting for you guys. Rook, you're being carried by these Warforged silently trampling through the forest, walking you back to the silent. facility. Well, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I guess we'll uh, tune in next week to find out the fate of Rook. Ah! Uh, no XP tonight. Nothing died. Not even, not even for me. <laughs> Do I get some XP? <laughs> <laughs>